I miss it a little bit. He's been kind of tap dancing around the house. <laughs> All right, so this morning I want us to do some twisty stuff and um, pretty much to just kind of detox, let things go, get our GI system kind of moving this morning. It's really good to do that before we eat breakfast and get moving for the day. So let's go ahead and start out in Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce, sitting up nice and tall. And maybe go ahead and close the eyes. Take a big breath in. And let it go. We hear our Long Beach choo-choo train. Inhale, really filling up the chest. Helping you to sit up a little bit taller, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then sigh it all out. One more big breath in here. And let it go. shoulders back. And let's stretch the neck, dropping the right ear to the right shoulder, whichever side you want to do first. Here's Ricky. And exhale, chin to chest. So just allow the head to hang, not forcing it. Doing a little stretch here in the back of the neck. And then inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Mm. Not holding your breath, still trying to breathe and lengthening the breath. And exhale all the way back over to the right side, maybe this time tilting the chin up slightly, dropping the head back a little bit further. And then exhale through center all the way over to the left side, tilting the chin up, dropping the head back. And then finding a nice neutral Sukhasana, sitting up nice and tall. Let's reach the arms out wide all the way up to the sky. Take your gaze up and exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back. Go ahead and draw the low belly in here, maybe kind of slightly tucking that pelvis under. Let's move our arms with our breath here. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale when you're ready. Inhale, reaching up. Going with your pace of breath. And exhale. One more inhale, reaching up. And exhale it out. All right, we're gonna twist over to one side, bringing the right hand behind you, left hand on the outside of that right knee. Sitting up nice and tall, so pressing that back hand down to help you lift up taller. And just twisting, opening the chest, opening that right shoulder, taking your gaze to the back wall. When you exhale, draw that low belly in, feeling it kind of empty out. Imagine your belly's like a little washcloth and you're wringing out the water. And then slowly unwind. We're gonna walk the fingertips forward and just fold it forward here. <clears throat> Relaxing the head. You can kind of rock side to side, maybe feeling a little extra stretch in the hips. And then walking the hands in. Let's go to the other side, taking the left hand behind you, right hand on the outside of the left knee. Press that left hand down, sitting up nice and tall, and then take your gaze over towards the back. 
open that left shoulder. So that right hand is really pressing on the left knee, helping you to twist farther. Take a big breath in. Exhale, empty the belly out, wringing it out. And slowly unwind one more time, folding forward. This time really reaching the fingertips forward and stopping whenever your hips want to lift up off the ground. Walking the hands in. We're going to take a reverse tabletop. You stay facing forward. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Now yeah, placing the hands behind you, planting the feet down. And we're going to slowly press into the heels to lift the hips up. Feeling a nice shoulder stretch, chest opener, stopping whenever it's a little bit too much for your shoulders or maybe you want to drop the hips down. And just gently drop the head back. And then exhale, slowly lower it down. Crossing the ankles and let's come into tabletop position. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stacking the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees. Going through a few rounds of cat and cow. The inhale, drop the belly, take your gaze up, warming up the spine forward and backward. And then exhale, round it out, pressing the mat away, making as much space as possible under your body. And inhale, drop the belly for cow pose. Exhale it out. So these movements don't have to be huge. You just want to really connect with your breath here. And so in cow pose, you're wanting to open the chest, making space for your lungs to expand. And in cat pose, trying to empty everything out, drawing that low belly up. One more round each way. And then finding a neutral tabletop position. Go ahead and pop up into downward facing dog, tucking the toes slowly, lift the hips up and back. And pedal the feet out, bending one knee, then the other, dropping one heel at a time, maybe rolling the neck around. And release both heels down towards the mat. And really try to press the chest towards the thighs here. Sending the hips up. Take a big breath in. And exhale it out. Look to the top of your mat and let's tiptoe all the way up to meet our hands. At the top of the mat into a nice forward fold. Heel toe the feet out a little bit wider than your hips, grabbing opposite elbows and ragdoll here. And you can move the neck around, kind of shaking the head. If you want to, you can allow the arms to kind of hang and sway side to side. And then finding a still forward fold. Let's heel toe the feet back under the body. The toes touch and have a space between the heels. Inhale, lift up halfway. Lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders back away from the ears. And then exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, reach the arms out wide. Coming all the way up to standing. Reaching up to the sky. Palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart center. So when we exhale, we want to squeeze everything back in, drawing everything back into center here. All right, let's go through a couple rounds, just two rounds of sun salutation A's. And we will add a gentle twist <laughs> in our low lunge as we go through it. All right, before we get moving, let's start at the top of the mat, hands in prayer. And maybe close your eyes, resetting our mind. If 
Our mind has already started to wander. Let's find that positive thought, that feeling, something we really want to focus on today. Not a to-do list, but something about our spirit, our energy. Just inhale, big breath through the nose. And exhale out. Slowly opening the eyes. And let's reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold it down, leaning out with the chest. And then allow the head to hang. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Just tilting the heart space up. And then exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and send the right foot back. Dropping that knee down. Walking your hands up to the left knee. Now I want you to just allow the hips to melt. The left knee is right over that left ankle. Relax the shoulders. All right, for our gentle twist here, what we can do is just reach that left arm back and the right arm forward. And your hips can come back some, so we're just twisting a little bit. If this is too much, you can keep both hands on your leg here and just open up. So trying to open the chest. And then slowly unwind out of that. Framing your front foot, let's lift that back knee up. Allow the hips to melt again. Opening those hips. And then step it back to high plank drop. Bend the knees down nice and slow. Shoulders are over the wrist. Dropping the hips slightly and take your gaze forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down. Untuck those toes. Inhale for cobra. Open the shoulders. Send the chest open. Mm. And then come into tabletop position. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a cleansing breath together. Inhale through the nose. And exhale it out. Just looking at the top of the mat, walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top, however you want to get there. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Other side, inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. This time, send that left leg back. Drop the knee down, walking your hands up to that right knee. Checking in with your knee, making sure it's over your ankle. If not, just kind of inch those toes forward. Maybe you need to roll the shoulders, remind them to relax. All right, for that twist, you can either just kind of grab onto the thigh and open up. Maybe take your gaze towards the back. Otherwise, maybe reach that right arm back, left arm forward. Whatever feels good to you. Maybe play around with both. And slowly come out of that, framing the front foot. Lift the back knee up, pausing here for a moment. So each pose, we don't have to look the same. Each side may be different for you, but just find your breath in each pose. Notice how your body feels. Just think about exploring and being open-minded each time. And when you're ready, step it back to a high plank, drop the knees down. Take your gaze forward and exhale, chaturanga, squeezing the elbows into the sides as you lower down. This time we're gonna take a little chest opener, reaching the right arm out nice and wide. Left knee is next to your chest. 
And we're gonna roll over onto that right side, maybe stacking the top foot behind you, relaxing down on the side of the head. Breathe into that chest here. If you want to, you can take the left hand behind your back. Slowly roll back over through center. And we'll take a cobra in between, either baby cobra or lifting up. I'm keeping my knees down this morning. It's just how I feel. You can lift up into upward facing dog if you'd like. And slowly lower the chest back down, reaching the left arm out wide. Right hand is next to your chest. And let's roll over onto that left side this time, stacking the right foot behind you. With your exhale, you should feel your body kind of settle down in each pose, kind of melting down a little bit further. Maybe that right arm comes behind your back for a little something extra. Let's slowly roll back out of that. Taking a cobra again, hands next to your sides, and now lifting up. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest. And let's tap the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. All right, let's look forward, stepping the, right, the left foot between the hands here. Spinning the back heel down and around, rising up for warrior two. So opening up that left knee towards the pinky toe edge, and it's right above the ankle here. Melting it down, maybe reaching forward and back. And then settling whenever your shoulders are right over your hips. Nice and strong warrior two here. All right, we're gonna straighten that front knee and heel toe the back foot in some. I rarely do triangle pose um, because I like to use blocks for it. So take it nice and gentle. So we're gonna reach it forward and then exhale, fold it down, triangle pose. So your shoulders are stacked here and maintain a slight bend in this knee. Feel free to come into extended side angle if that one feels better. Otherwise, let's do triangle pose and we're really using our abs this morning because I don't have a block to reach for. All right, we're gonna get crazy here. Reaching that top arm down and around, spinning that back heel up. Placing the right hand on the inside of that left foot, open up for a twist. So the left hand is up high. You're in a high lunge. Breathing here. And then exhale, release out of that. Let's step back into downward facing dog. Mm. And this time, step the right foot forward between the hands, spin the back heel down and around, rising up for warrior two. I'm gonna turn around facing so you're not looking at behind me. Opening up that right knee towards the pinky toe edge and settling down as far as you wanna go. If you wanna stay up higher and have a shorter stay up, feel free to do that. Mm. Taking your gaze over your front fingertips. All right, we're gonna straighten that front leg, heel toe that back foot in, coming into our triangle pose. So reaching forward and then just kind of tilting down. Again, that front knee is gonna have a slight bend and you can press the back of the hand into that leg, opening up, draw the low belly in. If your neck bothers you, take your gaze straight forward instead of up. All right, let's get crazy reaching that left arm over the ear, spinning that back heel up, placing the left hand on the inside of the right foot 
and then twist open to the back. You might feel the stretch in the hips too. That back leg is still nice and strong. And let's slowly re release out of that, framing your front foot. And step back into downward facing dog, pedaling the feet out. <sighs> nice and twisty this morning. <laughs> Flicking to your hands and let's step to the top of the mat, crossing the ankles, coming down to your back. Oh, all the way down, bring the knees into the chest. Give them a nice squeeze. I love bringing my knees into my chest. It feels so good on my back. And it doesn't take like much squeezing or much effort. It's just like the weight of your legs, gravity pressing down. It helps to give you that nice spinal compression, that relaxation. And then when you rock side to side, you get a little massage. And let's bring the arms out wide into a T. Take a big breath in. And exhale, drop the knees to the left for a supine twist. Maybe take your gaze over the right shoulder in the opposite direction. Now something I love to do here is take my left hand and massage my belly, my side ribs, just kind of adding that gentle touch here, that little extra icing on the cake to help release any tension we're holding in our bellies. And then slowly bring the knees back into your chest. Give them another good squeeze, rocking side to side. In this moment, your eyes can be nice and closed. Relaxing here, releasing. And then open up the arms out wide again. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release the knees to the right this time. Ooh, it popped, but it was a good pop. And take your gaze over your left shoulder. You're in the opposite direction. Now, if you feel like you're holding tension, your legs aren't able to relax, feel free to extend, do whatever you need to do to help them release here. And if you did on the other side, maybe do a little belly massage here. Side ribs going in clockwise motion. So we're just kind of meeting. Having no judgment how squishy your belly might feel. <laughs> it's okay. It's a beautiful, perfectly imperfect belly. No one's judging yours. They're already judging their own. <laughs> and slowly release out of that. Bring your knees back into your chest. For one last good squeeze. And let's take happy baby just because it feels great sometimes. You can either grab your big toes with your peace fingers or the outsides of your feet. And bend the knees and just draw the hips open. Draw those elbows out wide. Maybe rock side to side. You can extend one leg and then the other. Playing around like a happy little baby finding their feet. <laughs> and then find a still happy baby. Think about sending your tailbone down on the mat, it might make your feet go further away from your body. Relax the neck, relax the face. And then draw the knees back into your chest. 
And we're going to begin to rock forward and back until you're ready to come up to your final seated position. So just hanging on to the backs of the legs, rocking forward and back. This feels good. <laughs> you can do it as long as you want to. Doing good. When you're ready, let's face forward. Coming into that nice tall posture here. Mm, rolling the neck, the shoulders. Mm, hopefully you feel a little bit more awake in the belly and it doesn't feel as tight, getting things moving here. Mm. Let's use this time to thank our bodies for everything it does for us all the time. Thank ourselves for showing up on our mat, wanting to do something great for our bodies, for our mind. Yoga is definitely a practice. We're practicing getting out of our heads, getting away from judgmental thoughts, breaking all these barriers that are standing in the way of us fulfilling our purpose. We have to remind ourselves that no one's judging us. They're too busy judging their own selves, which is not technically a good thing, but it just means that we're our own worst critic. We're the only one standing in our way usually. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Let's reach our arms out wide all the way up to the sky. Big breath in. And exhale, hands to heart. The light in me truly honors the light, the love, beauty, joy, and peace in you. Namaste. Namaste, Ricky.